Watson, might I have a match? Holmes, you're hurt. Scratches, nothing, nothing to signify. You don't look well, Holmes. Well, I have been using myself rather too freely. I have been somewhat pressed of late. How pressed? Well, as I am unable to leave this room until after dark, and then most likely by the way that I came, we do have some time on our hands. Also, I owe you an explanation for my unceremonious departure the last time that we met. I'll take some notes, if I may. Oh, by all means. This case, this case, it is unique in the annals of crime. You will recall that it was a cold morning early in the year when I last left Baker Street. I had no idea where I was going or who my client was. All I knew that was important and abroad. My destination was the museum in the Louvre in Paris. And my client, none less than the French government. Surely this Palais du Louvre is near to the very heart of France. It was here that the great Roi Soleil held court, and here that Napoleon Bonaparte was married to the Archduchess Marie Louise of Austria. Indeed, it is a history lesson in stone. And now this gallery contains our finest paintings. Gentlemen, shall we come to the point? I presume the Mona Lisa has been stolen. Qui le lui a dit? Je vous assure, Monsieur le Ministre, je n'ai absolument rien dit. When I see two hooks, and the place where the Mona Lisa used to hang, and then this talk of peril and scandal. Yes, now I begin to understand the delicacy of the matter. The Louvre is closed on Mondays for maintenance. The fact that the Mona Lisa was not hanging in her usual place was put down to the fact that she was in the photographic studio. It was only later in the day that a workman found the frame in a little storeroom under the Salon Carré. Uh, we put the, the glass over the painting only a month ago. We feared an acid attack. There was such a one in Florence recently. How very fortunate. Pardon? Two good thumbprints. Uh, many artists come here to make copies of the paintings. This one seems well done. Yes, that artist is particularly clever and makes a good living from his copying. I should like to meet him sometime. To make a bad copy is very easy. But a good one. It takes years of practice. For instance, Da Vinci used Italian poplar wood to paint on. It is very difficult to find. To mix the original color, nearly impossible. His uh, fumature, the smooth blended tones, is wild. very it's subtle. Good. And his brushwork is left handed. Uh, the crackler, this. Uh, Fine network of cracks. Ah, that is the most difficult to achieve of all. And you can achieve it. How? Ah. That is my secret. It seems to me that this is something near to a legitimate forgery. Uh, no, 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 no. Because the copies must never be the same size as the original. Uh, and who would buy one of my copies as the original when the real Mona Lisa is in the Louvre? But if by chance the Mona Lisa is no longer in the Louvre. Oh, but of course you are joking, monsieur.
Happily, the French police are well ahead of the British when it comes to fingerprints. The great Bertillon himself was kind enough to refer to my little pamphlet on the subject as his Bible. As I suspected, our man had been involved in petty crime in the past. A Spaniard named Mendoza. There. There is your thief. Hmm. Not a pleasant specimen. <laughs> Mr. Holmes, France owes you a great debt. We have not got the man. And more important, the painting. But he must be arrested immediately. He may have already sold it. No, 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 gentlemen, it is my belief that the painting is still in Mendoza's keeping. He is only a pawn in a much bigger game. This robbery has been carefully planned over months, even years, by a master criminal. But what professional criminal would want to own the Mona Lisa? That is madness. He can't sell it. I believe the master criminal is not interested in the original. If he can pass off the forgeries as originals for the same price. Gentlemen, we must alarm Mendoza. Get him on the move. So he leads us to the center of the web. But how? First, we must announce to the world that the painting has been stolen. Oh, but that would create a great scandal, both myself and the director. Minister, please, if I may explain. It will be announced that owing to the brilliant and tireless efforts of yourself and the director, that the criminal is about to be arrested. Mr. Holmes, we must arrest him now. No. I understand that the recovery of the original would make it impossible for the thieves to sell any copies, however excellent those copies were. But did you have any clue to the identity of the mastermind behind the whole scheme? I was satisfied that I had recognized one of Professor Moriarty's agents. Moriarty? Notice the subtle modeling of the features, beautiful hands, mood, that smile. As Walter Pater described her, the head upon which all the ends of the world are come and the eyelids are a little weary. No one else has ever had the genius to paint this masterpiece, except Da Vinci. Well, if you look at the paintwork, sir, uh, Leonardo's signature, writ large. The brushwork, mano sinistra. The bloom, the sfumato technique. <laughs> Will you excuse me? I would say, uh, without hesitation, that the general opinion of the art world is that this is the greatest portrait ever painted. I very much regret to have to tell you, sir, that this painting is no longer for sale. 
I don't understand, Professor. I mean, uh, the price, maybe? Well, now look, I'll reconsider. I'll give you a cool four million. Now, how's that? I'm sorry, Mr. Morgan. The painting is no longer for sale. Huh? Hey, what you guys up to? Take your hands off me, you mick! For sake, for nothing! Richard Holmes has recovered the original. These are worthless. Destroy them. Burn them. Do it yourself. Let no one else see you. Yes, Professor Moriarty. Thank mm -hmm. you.